Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another amazing design from the Steam Workshop. This one is a little bit smaller than some of the ships that I looked at, but it definitely makes up for it in its characteristics and its design. Something that just really caught my eye about it. Maybe it's the ribbed sort of armoured nature up at the top area, or it's just how it's such a compact yet beautiful design that doesn't really have too many curves to it. So let's get started. We'll start at the front of the ship as usual, work our way around, and then we'll pop inside. So right at the front here, under this beautiful yellow housing, we have ourselves a hydrogen and an ion thruster. Perfect combination for jetting around the galaxies. A little bit further down, we have nine rocket launchers to devastate the enemy if they come across them, as well as being protected by that cowling. And tucked away for a little bit of extra protection, we have two cameras. I'm guessing one is a redundancy in case one gets destroyed. And as we look around this design, you'll notice that it's used a lot of the smaller turrets. Now, the smaller turrets do take up less block space, but in many sort of captain's eyes, they're just simply not as effective. The rate of fire and the damage is not as high, but they still can cause quite a bit of havoc so as we work it down the side here you can see we've got the beginning of that ribbed armor and you can see how the shadow just slopes down each one of them ribs and just really creates a beautiful effect from the distance as you can see there so let's go a little bit further down you can see we've got a window we've also got a little bit of a name badge showing off the name of the ship of course and to the side we have the window with the airlock door that we can actually shut up behind here we have ourselves the bridge but i'm not going to get too much into that now going down the side, he's also mounted these rocket pods on either side on this sort of mount so you can target from multiple directions if the ship is coming towards you from the front area. So just look at this ribbon, you see how he's staggered up in this area and then he's once done to make room for this engine section where he's added a little bit of ribbon in the side here to create almost like a vent. So on both sides then it comes to this external sort of cowling, on the bottom it dips down and gets a little bit longer and extended but you can just see how he's continued adding these ribbed areas and in some points to add a little bit of reinforcement but let you see into that zone he's just added one of the pillar blocks there just a great idea on how you can make the ship look like it can actually hold itself together but actually expose a little bit of the inner workings in that case of thruster so going further back we actually have ourselves a large gatling gun got the large gatling gun there at the size and we've got the protected thrusters just look how he's extended the armor over that thruster just a little bit further there to protect them from multiple angles there as well continuing into this rear area we've got ourselves almost like the engine pack where it looks like a number of thrusters have been combined here we've got the hydrogen thruster in the center of most of the modules and then the standard iron on the side but you can see how he's added that in and just created this really nice dual bay engine so if we come around the back you see he's once done that effect with the pillars and there we go, we've got two basic engine cowlings and we've got a third one on top. Now what's really nice about this is between these engines we have an entrance to the hangar bay. The engine bays themselves have had them blocks cut down so they look like some sort of ventilation or ribbing. And then on the lower area we've got ourselves a little catwalk so we can get ourselves in. But the exterior of the ship just really drew me to it, especially for the size, the amount of detailing of a ship that's this small. I mean, you can get crazy with the small blocks, but there's a lot of detail going on since it's a large design. Now we're entering into the interior, and the design of these interiors continues to amaze me. Just look how much effort he's put into sloping and creating these angles into this place. And what you'll also notice is pretty cool is you can land or rotate yourself around in both directions. So we're actually upside down now in this ship. And we could still walk ourselves around. So if I activate my legs, we'll spawn and walk around this side. Let's see if he's done it so the gravity will work for both. There we go. Perfect. So I now can walk on the upside down ceiling. So we'll approach through the airlock. And we come straight into the reactor. Remember, this is a small ship or in sort of large ship category. So all the parts are going to be quite close together. And that means there's not going to be a super great amount of armor through the walls. But you can see the atmospherics he's added into it. If we turn our light off, it's quite dusty. Gives you really that sort of reactor room type feel. Very nice indeed. And we continue going down this staircase into what is a little car container area. We've got the battery power packs at both sides there as well. We continue working out and going through this back door, we just enter into that lower catwalk area. Very nice. And we'll head to the upper deck. Now, if I can remember how to do this, we head through here. And we go back up through here and there should be another set of staircases that take us to the next level. So there's the med bay. 
and then we're heading towards the bridge now. So there's the other entrance from the other area. We can just pop that open and I'll show you. So if I enter into here, it'll rotate us around. And you can see how that's put us then into the hangar once again. Just cool how it rotates you around into this area. It's a little bit uh, disorientating. But it allows you to do a lot more with the ship. So we've got more med bays, more cryopods. And we're actually at the bridge of the ship. What's great about this design though is since you're coming head on with the target. If I just pop into the control seat itself. You've got a lot of armor between you and the bridge itself. And the thruster that's there in front of you as well. So it's a little bit of better protection. Of course, if you house your cockpit in the center, it's going to be even more protected. But for the design, it looks very nice and it handles great, especially with that hang away at the back. Great for any sort of survival situation. If you need a survival ship or you just want something to bump into in a little scenario, the ship is perfect. I'll give you a link to it in the description below and I will see you next time.